So I want to share with you something that just happened. Uh, I was just just dropped my daughter off at school and ran over to Shields to buy a new uh, North Face, like a winter coat, because I needed a new one. And I bumped into a guy there I know who has come to some of our uh, workshops. He's come to our BGS Live e-commerce event, and he has a store and just happened to bump into him and, you know, chit-chatting. And I said, oh, so, you know, how's your store doing? And he said, oh, we're doing good, but, you know, I just need to get more traffic. And he goes, that's, that's really the thing I need. He goes, you know, we're making sales, and I, if I could just get some more traffic to my site, we'd be doing a lot better. And I said, oh, how much traffic are you getting right now? And he said, oh, about 10,000 visitors a month, which isn't a lot. Um, but I said, and I said, are those unique visitors? He said, yeah, 10,000 unique visitors a month. Okay, how are you getting that traffic? Paid ads, Facebook ads. Okay, cool. What's your conversion rate? 1%. Okay, 1% conversion rate, which means out of 10,000 visitors, he's getting 100 sales, right? 1%. And this is, and he, but his, his problem, he says, is that he needs more traffic. And I told him, I'm like, dude, you don't need more traffic. You have traffic. You got 10,000 visitors. You only got 100 sales. Your problem is not traffic. Your problem is that your store is not converting. And then I took a look at his store on my cell phone real quick. And yeah, it's not, there's, there's pop-ups all over the place. It's just, a, it's a mess. It's, the, it's a typical e-commerce store, your typical Shopify store. Um, it's just, it's not designed to really convert the sale, but you know, and he's not alone in this. Okay. Everybody seems to think that they need more visitors, more traffic to make more money. But the reality is, is that businesses typically don't die from starvation. Okay. Businesses typically die from indigestion. Okay. And what I'm talking about here is the starvation means that your business would die of starvation if it wasn't getting any traffic, wasn't getting customers. That's not the problem. The problem is you're getting traffic. The problem is you can't convert it. You can't digest that traffic on your site and turn that that traffic digestible into sales, all right? And that's the problem. You you get traffic. Maybe it's not a ton of traffic, but if only one out of 100 people that visit your store through paid advertising are buying, you're getting traffic. You need to get more than a, one out of 100 to buy. You need to increase your conversion rate. Okay, and this is in a perf in a perfect world. To get the click, you have it's one click. They look, they see the ad, they click on it, right? That's one click. You get them to the site. But once they hit the site, there is six to eight clicks at a minimum, if nothing goes wrong, before they complete the purchase. Yet everybody, including this guy, is so focused on optimizing that one click, the traffic click. Okay, but what about? everything else. What about the other six to eight clicks that have to happen from the time they hit your store to the time they complete a checkout and give you money? Why are you not spending any time optimizing those clicks, right? That's the big deal. So I told him, I said, dude, I would stop trying to get better at traffic right now. Don't get more visitors. Figure out how to use the visitors that you're getting to make more money. Maximize the money that you're making from your traffic. Okay. And this is what we this is like the, the number one thing that we focus on at Build, Grow, Scale. Is it's a process called revenue optimization. And our goal and our focus is how do we maximize the money that we can make from the traffic that a store is already getting before we go get more traffic? Okay, because as you grow a business, traffic only gets more expensive. It doesn't get cheaper, it never gets cheaper. Okay, it only gets more expensive as you cast a wider and wider net to reach a wider and wider audience. Okay, and you have to do that if you want to scale. But if your store is converting so poorly that out of every 100 visitors, you're making one sale, it's imp and you have a normal store's average order value, you know, like we're in the 30, 40, 50, maybe even $100 average order value, it's gonna be almost impossible for you to cash flow a business and scale it. Actually, it's, all, it's nearly impossible without outside funds or investor funds or something like that to offset the fact that you can't run a profitable business. So. I told this guy, I said, dude, focus on your store. Like you came to our event, you already know what to do. We've already told you this before. The problem again is not your store. You got, you don't need more traffic. You have 10,000 visitors, which probably cost him, you know, almost a, a dollar a click or more. And yet he's not making money. He can't make money. Well, yeah, because you're buying, you know, a dollar a click and you're converting a hundred out of those 10,000 clicks, right? So he needs to turn around, stop, 
keep doing just traffic. Yeah, you gotta keep buying traffic, great. But don't try to keep getting better traffic or scaling your traffic. Just simplify it and focus on building the store out so that your store is actually available and able to capture that traffic at a high rate, higher conversion rate, higher average order rate, higher repeat customer rate, and using your abandoned cart sequences and lowering your bounce rate and just all this traditional optimization stuff that needs to happen. And then maybe take, I mean, the easy thing to do would be to fix that. He's already getting traffic. He's figured out a traffic that does convert. It just doesn't convert that well. So maybe we take it from 1% to 2%. Now he's getting two out of 100. And then we go from two to three. People think that that's ridiculous or hard to do. It's not. In our Ecom Insider program, our baseline conversion rates on most of, on most of the 600 stores in there starts around 4%. We have stores away in the six, seven, and 8% range. Okay, and then when you count in recovery, and repeat purchase and bringing customers back and just you know your email follow-up and all of that, you can really, really, really boost your conversion rates massively to where you can actually profit significantly from traffic that before may not have been that profitable to you. Because again, the traffic's not the problem. You're probably already better at traffic than you need to be. This guy certainly is. You probably are as well. So the rant in this video, the moral of the story, if you will, is pay attention to your store. Optimize those six to eight clicks instead of just focusing on that one click, the traffic click, all right? So with that, guys, remember, most stores, most businesses die from indigestion, not starvation. Think about that. Think about how your store is doing and how you can make it do better.